When I visited Rio, I discovered that art isn't just found in museums, it's all over the place. But gangs aren't the ones tagging these walls and buildings. You see, in Brazil, graffiti is legal. So tonight I want you to meet the people behind the paint. One of the most popular sites in Rio de Janeiro is a staircase, a really big, really colorful staircase. It's a project by this artist called Celeron. These are the Celeron Steps, a work of art created with thousands of tiles. He would actually receive tiles as gifts. During his traveling, he would collect different types of tiles to make this amazing mosaic. It became a symbol of Rio as much as the Christ or the sugar loaf. It's the most famous, but not the only place to find art outdoors here. We paint every day. In Brazil, graffiti is legal. You see walls as blank canvases. So I always picture my art there. It's like, wow, graffiti, it's a good thing, you know? Justin and his girlfriend may be teachers during the day, but their passion is paint. Teaching English pays the rent. Kind of just like a little, make a little bit of money. Art is where we actually make our money to travel and to like actually save money and do things. Their latest creation is an underwater landscape. Oh, we have a mermaid. And the diver is coming towards her, bringing two worlds, two different worlds together. For me, it's like me and Justin. He's American and I'm Brazilian. We came from different backgrounds. It kind of represents a little bit of us. You'll find this street art all over Rio de Janeiro. The murals wrap entire streets, provide the background for restaurants. Vibrant colors cover entire walls. For you to walk down a street and have it all colorful and painted. Nina is a Brazilian. It just makes you a smile, you know. Who leads guided tours of graffiti throughout Rio. It's like stopping to smell the flowers, stopping to appreciate a mural. It can really change people's lives, you know, it really lightens the mood. In Rio's poorest communities, known as favelas, street art is abundant. It's a way of bringing art to those forgotten communities. There is one very popular character in the Husina favela. Anjos nunca é demais. They are created by a Brazilian artist, born and raised in this community. Então dá para ver que o meu trabalho ele tem uma, uma um certo diálogo com as pessoas. Mm -hmm. Acontece esse esse diálogo frequentemente. What I like to do during the street art tour is point out the artists that have these kinds of positive messages. Nina says one of her favorite artists uses graffiti to link all Brazilians. And one word that he loves to write is iguais, the same. And what he means by that is we're all born and we're all gonna die. We're the same. It doesn't matter what color you are, how much money you make. We've, we're born and we die. Whether you visit Rio's famous steps... What he was able to do is really beautiful. ...or check out some lesser-known creativity, you are sharing an experience. I can't imagine Brazil without art in the streets. I can't imagine. Color brings joy to people's lives. And Olympic athletes like Tamika Catchings have been taking some photos around Rio de Janeiro, taking advantage of some of these colorful murals. It's just so beautiful, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's just awesome to be able to walk around. It costs you about 40 bucks to do one of these tours, one of the tours. and mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really, really neat to very see this artwork. Very colorful form of expression. Yeah. And uh, tonight at 7.30, we're going to take you back into the Amazon. Look at the fish that you get there in Did the you uh, catch fish that? market. I didn't catch this one. Remember, I just got the, uh, got the, the piranha, piranha last night. Maybe piranha. And look at all these bananas, <laughs> tens of thousands of bananas. Um. And you can, in the Amazon, you can go ahead and hold an anaconda. And that's what I did. And you're going to see more of those animals tonight. And we're going to take you all around the Amazon in Manaus coming up tonight at 7.30. We'll see and you